Yo Ninjas and Kayo, let's react to Victor vs Phil Wizard at the Red Bull BC1 World Final 2022 in New York. They both have a lot of experience, so it would be a very good battle in my opinion. Let's see, I hope so. <laughs> oh, Victor goes first very quickly. No wasting time. Classic top rock, classic front step as usual. Oh, that was original. Nice. UFOs, Tombstone. That Tombstone variation is his unique variation. Also, this windmill, a lot of signature moves, changing directions, freeze, very complete footworks, text. Nice. Oh, nice. Very powerful clean a lot of content in one round it was pretty short but with a lot of things together signature moves footworks different tags tags in footworks are when you do like half of a pattern or maybe you go from point a to point b in some specific steps that are not usual steps for example not like a six step or not like a three step when you repeat the tag on both sides you create a pattern usually it can be a footwork pattern it could be a legwork pattern a back rock even a power move or freezes pattern victor plays a lot with that with tags and patterns on his footworks a lot of variety in his round even if it was short even a direction change very cool very cool his execution is very clean and sharp Let's see Phil Wizard. Oh, he replies with the UFO. Nice. Original style. Nice freeze on beat. Oh, signature move again. Variations, threads. I don't know if it was a thread or it was a, just a grab, but very cool. The first round was pretty close for me, a little bit higher from Victor's side, but just a little bit. Victor's style is a little bit more refined, while Phil Wizard's style is a little bit rougher, but they both have many signature moves. I think Victor showed a little bit more of his signatures, but yeah, it was very close. Let's see the second. Reverse 90, another signature of his. It works. Nice tap, nice variation. Oh, that is very hard to do. This footer. Sharp again. Three stacks at the end. You see, Victor is showing a little bit of everything in his rounds, like power moves, footworks, cool freezes, very all-rounded, and everything he does is clean and high level. His power moves is high level, not because he's doing like crazy air flares or crazy variations, for example, like Pocket or like Alvin, but because he's original with his power move. And what he does in his power move is still very high level, actually. His footwork is also very high level, very hard to execute in this way. Maybe it looks easy, but if you tried similar steps, you can tell they are not easy. And also the freeze stacks, how he does them, they look very easy, but they are not very light in the freezes. Also, he's very musical with his steps. He starts the round on the one or on the beat. He listens to the music on his footworks. What he does may look simple, but it's not simple. It's very complex, actually. Second round for Phil Wizard. Nice. Oh, nice. <laughs> Was that a slip? I'm not sure. Oh, very cool slide. Changing levels. Freeze. Phil Wizard also within the original style. Signature move again. Oh, very nice that he changed the direction of the move. Nice. Yeah, Phil Weezer is a little bit rougher than Victor. The movements are less sharp, but I would say more creative. While Victor's style is a little bit more classic, Phil Weezer's style is a little bit more original and creative. I really like both of them. The second round for me was also for Victor, but it's still very close. It's not that clear from one on the other. So maybe for Victor, but just a little bit, because Phil Weezer is still more original and more creative. 
So I'm sure many b-boys would prefer or would vote for Phil Wizard, depending on how you judge breaking. If you judge more based on creativity, originality, or if you judge more on complexity and sharpness. Let's see the third and last round from Victor. This is when it counts. Round three. Relax. Signature move again. Also, Victor actually has a lot of signature moves. The difference between Victor's signature moves and Phil Wizard's signature moves is that Victor takes a move that looks like a basic move, like for example a windmill or a side freeze or something like that, and he transforms this move in a creative move, in an original move, adding his own variation of it. So basically what Victor does are variations. Phil Wizard instead has another approach where he's not taking like a basic move. So that step where he slides on his head for example and he does steps from one side to the other, it's not similar to any other move, you know? So I would say Phil Wizard signature moves are a little bit more original than Victor, but the quantity, I don't know which one can do more signature moves. Maybe Victor can do more. Almost every Victor move actually is a variation, but you can say that also for Phil Wizard most of times. So it's very hard to tell which one is more creative between the two, but I would say Phil Wizard is more original, while Victor is a little bit more classic in his creativity. Oh, oh nice drop. Let's go. So many variations, so many variations. A lot the of creative variations. Nice. Clean execution from Victor, a little bit shorter than the than the other rounds. Let's see how Phil Wizard does in the last round. Great level changes. Round three, Phil Wizard. Oh, oh, that was very cool. Let me see it again. Nice, nice. Going counterclockwise with the slide and then turning and going to the other side. Very cool. I want to see it one more time. It was very cool. Slide and then changes direction and thread and freeze. Some leg works, footworks. Nice. Oh, nice. another signature here. <laughs> on beat. Not that clean at the end, but on beat. I would say the third round for Phil Wizard. He showed a little bit more. The ending freeze was not that sharp, but was still on beat, and he still didn't fall. So I wouldn't count it as a mistake, just maybe a little, little slip, but still very cool. And the start of the round was so cool. That move, like the slide with the direction change and with the tread was very, very cool. The battle is very, very close. I would give the first two rounds to Victor, but just a little bit, not that much. And the third round for Phil Wizard, a little bit more. So for me, it would be a tie or for Victor. It also depends how much the judges are paying attention to the to how clean a b-boy is. Because if they go for the cleaner one, they would vote Victor. But if they prefer like originality or even creativity, maybe they would go for Phil Wizard. Showing the true battling essence. Four to one for Victor. Cool, cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments and let me know why you think that. And see you next time with a new video. Yo, ninjas!